welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a fun fold card um, using the timeless tulips and some other little bits and bobs. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to set all this aside until we need it. Um, and basically, what you've got is a standard piece of cardstock. This is Daffodil Delight. Um, I guess there, it's not quite standard because it's only ten and a half inches long. So you cut off a half, half an inch from it. So it's four and a quarter by ten and a half. And you will score this. So you get out your scoring tool and you want to score at half an inch. Oops. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling. Keeps hitting my body, so I'll, I'll score half inch this way. Then I can turn it around. Okay, so you want to score at half inch, two inches. Four inches. and five and a half inches. <clears throat> okay, and then on all these creases, you can go ahead and bring them in. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my little one half inch flap. I'm going to put glue on. And I can literally and truly just fold it like that. And then it's going to create a box so that my card will stand up like that. Okay, but I want to give that just a moment to dry. So I'm going to take another piece of Daffodil Delight, and I forget the dimensions now, and it is three inches by five and a half, <clears throat> and I also want to score it at half an inch, and two inches. Like that. Okay, so there you have it. All right, before we get too far down the rabbit hole, we are going to have to glue that. But before we get there, I've got some designer series paper that is one and three quarters by four inches that I'm going to attach. Here. halfway between those two and then on the back I've got some more ooh didn't need the extra oh, shoot so this should be four and three this should have had an extra half inch I grabbed the wrong piece but I'm gonna make this work anyway so how much? I just need to take off an eighth of an inch. We'll make it work. Okay, just take off a sliver. Put it in there. All right, 
So even though I say I have 10 and a half, you should have had a whole 11 inches, and then my dimensions would have worked perfect. And below, I will provide the correct dimensions. But see, we can make things work. I needed a 10 and a half for something else, and I got a 11 and switched them around. So my apologies. All right, with that, I can go ahead and adhere this piece to that panel. So all I'm going to do is glue on, <clears throat> put some glue on that half inch panel, and I'm going to make sure I don't go above that so that when I put this on, center that on, I'm going to even fold that in half like that. Okay. Then I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. I have forgotten my dimensions. So that's two and three quarters by three and a quarter. I'll go ahead and attach here. And now I've got what we would call the base of a card ready to go, to be decorated. Okay, so I need a piece of crumb cake. I am going to take the jar of flowers stamp here and with memento, my little black, tuxedo black. Let's get the stamp of pad just in case. I also have a little I'm going to stamp that and I'll set that aside because I don't think I want any more tuxedo. Clean off my uh, stamp so it can be put away. And then I'm going to get out the timeless tulips. Get a couple of those. And I'm going to stamp one. Actually, I'm going to do Daffodil Delight first. Because Daffodil Delight is harder <laughs> to clean off, or it's easier to clean off than Ming. Melon Mambo, and it will not ruin my stamp case. Follow then by Melon Mambo. And then I'm going to get some shaded spruce. Oops. Let me put that away. And then I'm going to get the coordinating that coordinates with the punch piece and I'm going to stamp a few of those And we can put that away. Oh, but, oh, no, nope, we're not done stamping. Then as well, I've got a happy birthday stamp. And 
and I think I will do it in shaded spruce as well. Keep the pretty colors coming. And, ooh, that was terrible. Okay, and this happy birthday stamp, that comes from the um, Peaceful Moments. But it's a really nice stamp. And then I can go to kind of town. I'm gonna get my double oval punch. And I'm gonna punch out my, my happy birthday. Now, my mason jar, I loaned out my punch so, and I knew that I was doing this video so I pre-punched that before somebody borrowed it. So there we have it, a little bit of magic. And then you can see, ooh, that equals bad, how I did that. Looks like I turned out lucky, like that. Get my tulip. So it's worth kind of paying attention to how these stamps. I'm going to cut that off so I don't. How these stamps kind of work or how they align in your punch so that you don't have to go and restamp. Not a big deal if you have to restamp, but if we can avoid it, I want to. Okay. And ta-da. I can set all that aside. And, oh, I have an extra. Hopefully we can just assemble. Oh, I need one more thing. I need double oval and a piece of melon mambo, which I want to back it in melon mambo. Give me a moment. Right, last but not least, our Melon Mambo piece. All right, so now I'm just gonna glue my happy birthday onto my punched piece. Okay, and then I need to arrange this in a way that I am happy with how they're going to come out. And I'm not sure if I want them under or over. So I think that'll work. I'll go ahead and glue my mason jar down. Good old mason jars. And the beauty with using this uh, liquid glue, there's a little bit of time to adjust before everything dries, which is always useful because I'm going to sneak that piece down in between them. Like so. that. Okay. 
Now that looks a little bit ugly, but we are going to fix it. Just give me a moment. Let me add my happy birthday to you. Okay. And what I'm going to add is some, some ribbon, a little bow ribbon. And I'm going to just take, I've got some leftover melon mambo from whenever. It's what I had on hand. But the other option, let me, let me grab it here in just a sec. Because there isn't any melon mambo ribbon on the market right now. So let me show you what you can do. Because who doesn't want some? All right. So there I've got a pretty little bow. And I can add that there. And it's better to use a glue dot, but I've misplaced my glue dots. So this is going to take a while to, to dry. And let me grab, if you don't, if you need Melon Mambo, because I use Melon Mambo, let me show you what you can do instead. So, because I like matching ribbons, I bought some of the, um, crinkled seam binding ribbon. It's white and all I can, and I can just take my, um, blends markers. So let me grab my melon mambo. Here's my melon mambo blend marker and I can just sit there and color both sides of it, wrap my, my bow up and then I have the color I need. So of the colors to buy, buy the white and then color it accordingly. But remember, you need to do it with the blends. And a second option to coloring this is to get a spritz bottle. So here's a spritz bottle. And um, this has shimmer paint in it, or shimmer spray. And you can put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, not a lot, to be able to, I guess it depends on how many of these you need. But you can put rubbing alcohol in it, and then you can take your re-inker. So, for example, here's the Melon Mambo re-inker. And you can put drops in, and the more drops you put in, the darker the color goes, the fewer, the lighter. And then you can spritz it, and by spritzing it, it will also color your ribbon. So, don't, don't freak out if you can't get the color you want because there are ways to work around that. And that's my tip of the day, I guess. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it because that'll help me continue on with YouTube. In addition, if you would like any of the products I have demonstrated here today for you, please click my online store. There is a shopping list below as, long, as well as a link to my online store that will help me continue to bring these videos. As well as if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and or email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. And if you absolutely love this card, but you don't want to buy all the items with it, guess what? This is on my website at bigskycards.com as a kit in all you have to do is provide glue. It'll come all scored, creased. Well, you'll have, you may also want a bold folder because you might have to crease some of the spots on your arm. But I will have scored it. Everything will be punched out, ready to go, and glue and go. So thank you so much for uh, watching my video. And look, the back is available for you to write on. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching my video, and happy stamping. Bye.